So I'm with Nick Shackleton Jones, who's the group head of e-learning at BP. Nick gave the um, opening session at the Social Learning Conference this morning on um, his kind of journey, really, from BP uh, to BP from through the BBC. Um, Nick, what kind of in terms of social learning? You've kind of learnt a lot of stuff on the way. Um, what kind of um, advice would you give to the wider community around you know, making this stuff work? Okay, so uh, I think two things spring to mind. The, the first thing, the analogy that we've used is, is kind of an empty warehouse. If you just set up an empty warehouse, if you just build it, they won't come. Um, because it's just an empty space. Um, what you need to do is think carefully about your content generation strategy so that when people turn up to your social media warehouse there's a, a thriving farmer's market or a car boot sale already going on there so that people come back because most people come to an environment that, like that because of what they can take, not what they can contribute. They will contribute if there's um, a, a great deal of activity but under those conditions. So the first thing is if you just build it they won't come think carefully about your content generation strategy. And I think the second thing I would say is, so what, what business problem are you trying to solve? Um, and not just from the top down, from the bottom up. What are the challenges that people face? Are they new starters? Do they need a load of information? Do they need to share because they're new starters? Are they new leaders? Um, is there some specific thing which is driving them to the resources that you've put there? Because that's really the model where social media works, where you're thinking about a specific need that your audience have, meeting that need with good, authoritative, quality resources, and generating kind of conversation around that. I think the reason why people get confused is they confuse social media generally, which is all about status and liking and, uh, and the social side of life, with social media for learning. Um, and they're different applications of the same technology, but as a consequence, they implement in different ways. And you talked about honeybees and curators. Yeah. Um, can you just explain a little bit more about what that what that's all about? So we have a project going at the moment, a sort of social media project, where um, members of my team are travelling round, gathering best practice and pooling it centrally. Hence, kind of the honeybee metaphor. Um, and then we play a role in curating that, so tagging it and aligning it with the various important things that are going on within BP. And I think that's very important because there's good stuff happening at all levels of the organisation. There are experts and best practice being generated across, uh, across the globe. And we can really benefit the organisation by bringing those together so that everybody can share in them. And we can also demonstrate that we're really listening to the business as well. That we're not just pushing stuff out, but that we're actually taking um, their expertise um, and their learning um, and bring it to a central point where it can benefit everybody. Thank you. Thank you.